Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my BoxyCharm Premium. I'm going to unbox it and try it on for you guys. Several people commented and said yes, they were kind of missing the try on portion. So I'm bringing it to you now. I may kind of like swap up maybe every other month, like try on the Ipsy or the next month try on the BoxyCharm. I don't know, we'll just go with the flow. But BoxyCharm Premium, if you don't know, is their bigger box that you can do monthly. It is $35 a month and it's six full size items and usually a pretty good deal. I'm gonna start with a body care product and a face product. The face product I'm not gonna use, but I'm gonna tell you about really quick. This is from Otisite, or I don't know if this, Odacite? I don't know. It's got a little over the E. So this is the Blue Aura Turmeric and Holy Basil Cleansing Water. So this is just a micellar water. I mean, those are pretty basic. I don't expect anything earth shattering with a micellar water, but I do enjoy using them to get like the little last bits of makeup off or just to like remove your sunscreen, something like that. So this goes for $39. That is pretty expensive it says it's a powerful no rinse cleanser formulated to make makeup cleansing quick effective and delicious this cleanser sweeps away dirt makeup and pollution in one easy step especially formulated to combat skin damaging pollutants before they take their toll i've never tried this brand before so i am kind of keen to give it a try and just see what this brand is like i don't know if i'm making that up but it smells a little like orangey to me but that's a good thing i'll take that over you know herby scents personally but I will give it a try. 39 bucks is expensive, like I said, but I am keen to try it. I also got something from Elemis. This is the Muscle Ease Active Body Oil for tired legs and muscle tension. Guys, this comes at like the perfect time because I don't know what is going on, but for the past few days, my ankles and feet, only my ankles and feet have been really swollen and it's like uncomfortable feeling. So I don't know why that's going on. We'll see, but I was doing a little bit of like a lymphatic massage just to help kind of ease that. And this will be really nice because it's gonna be perfect. It has rosemary, maritime pine, sea fennel to relieve, relax, and soothe. Of course, Elements is a little pricey. This goes for $63.50. It says it's fast absorbing body oil with a synergy of extracts to help relax and ease tension. It envelops you in a calming, uplifting fragrance while softening and soothing the skin. Ooh, this is, this feels so bougie. I didn't know if like this whole cap would come off, but you just unscrew this little guy. It's a little bitty opening. Every time it smells like pine cones, daddy be tripping. This smells I do not like the scent of this, just personally. It smells a little bit like Mary Jane to me, but like pine needles. I don't know, maybe on my feet and legs, like it won't bother me because it won't be so close to my face. But anyway, $63.50 for this. I would not pay this much for just any old body oil. I'm sure it's good. LMS products are amazing, but I'm a little stingy because, well, because I am, you know? So anyway, this is really pretty. It looks and feels bougie. It feels really nice on my skin. Not really any difference as you can see, but it feels really nice. I also got the Rodile Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it Rodile or Rodial? Well, I feel like maybe I have this, but I don't know. We're just going to go with it. I don't remember it saying primer, but this is the Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer. It's called Soft Focus Glow Drops. Six, six. That's a little high. So I'm just gonna drop some on my face. Someone's gonna be like, you shouldn't drip the primer onto your face. Well, I didn't touch my face with a dropper. Dropped. Okay, let's see. It's a little fragrant, not in a bad way. Well, these drops feel pretty good, but I'm like, $60? My skin's a little bit glowy now, but it looks like just a little bit more dewy. I don't really see any like glow glow. It just looks like, you know, I have some freshness, some dewy to my skin, but I mean, you guys tell me, you think this is worth $60, what you're saying here? The last three items that we have are actually all for the eyes, so I'm going to do a bunch of makeup off camera and save us some time, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and I have pretty much all of my face on except for eyes. So next up, we've got something from Alamar Cosmetics. This is the Pero Primero Primer but first primer, I think. So this is the Longwear Sticky Pigment Base. Just a little tube. 
it looks cute. So this one goes for $15, so it's reasonably priced. It says it's a water-based primer designed to glue eyeshadow in place and maximize color and pearl dimension. It's water and wear resistant and rich with shea butter to provide skin conditioning and moisturizing benefits. It also works as a glitter glue mixed with your favorite concealer to customize the primer shade. Oh. Okay, so I actually felt this because I was like, oh, it says sticky pigment base. And I was like, how sticky is this? And I was actually thinking, you know, it feels kind of like a like glitter glue consistency. So I'm going to grab a concealer to mix with this because I did feel like it was really, really sticky. All right, I'm going to just use this Fenty Beauty concealer. It's pretty light. It's shade 100. I do have a palette and it's more pastel. So I want to make sure it's really light. This is the Rose Pastels Huda Beauty palette. So it's one of the little nine pans. I didn't have any of these pastel ones and I saw them on the pop-up too. I thought about getting them, but I'm like, I don't know what shade I'm going to get. So I just decided to wait, but these are cute. I never knew what to think about the middle shade in these because it's kind of like this little swirl tie-dye looking it's got a couple pinks something a little bit more purple but it's really pretty and i love the little pop of like lime green i just think it's cute but super super soft and pastel so i want to make sure that i'm using a pretty light concealer so, oh, that feels nice like, i've been using p louise base which to me feels more like a concealer consistency but it works better in my opinion and i find this is a lot stickier it's laying down a little bit like patchy because it's so sticky that as i'm like just lightly tapping with the brush or the finger it kind of is like picking up and not really evening everything out so we'll see but the palette is 29 dollars. it says it has mattes metallics and next generation shimmer swirls i'm curious what color the shimmer swirl is actually going to look like so that's it on my finger right here so i'm going to take this first shade it's like a very very light pinky lavender i'm just going to quickly pack it right above the crease Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm not a fan of this really sticky primer because I can feel it so much on my lids and also it's just showing like texture on my eyelid and I am so accustomed now to using my P. Louise base that I don't think uh, much is going to really match up to it. They're just such good bases and they're the right amount of like tackiness it's not it doesn't dry down too fast but yet again it's not too wet there's just so many good things about it so i don't know i can see how it looks already and i've had this happen before with other eye primers where it just makes your lids look very textured and like crepier than they actually are once the matte shadow is there it's like set and it's not really blending out a lot so i have to like add new shadow I'm not able to just pack it in and then blend the edges. Can't really blend the edges, so it's gonna take actually adding eyeshadow. Not to say that it won't work and maybe other people will like it better, but I'm just really stuck on my P. Louise base. No pun intended. So I'm gonna take this more purple shade right here. I know this is, says rose, but it's kind of got like more of a, a lavender feel with these two shades. So we kind of added that all throughout the outer corner and into the crease. It actually doesn't have that big of a difference in the depth of the color though. So I'm just going to add more with my fluffier brush and diffuse it a bit more. All right, now I'm going to use this primer by itself in a way that I think is going to be the best way to use it. And I'm just going to pack it onto my lid. And I'm only going to do one eye at a time because of how quickly this gets drier. And just taking the darker of these two lavender shades. Okay, I am not a fan of this eye base. I just feel like these shadows using my normal primer, my P. Louise base, would have been so much better. I feel like it just got too dry and it was just a little too sticky. And even with the shimmers, with it being so tacky, it looks pretty, but it's doing this thing where everything looks really compacted. I don't really know how to describe what I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job of describing that. I'm not feeling this primer, like either way that I use it, it's not terrible. And for the price, it's not bad at all, but I don't think it's gonna become my fave. 
So we're gonna do a little of this shade in the inner corner. And this was the shimmer I used right here on my lid, which has turned out really pretty. Well, that's a nice little pop. I kinda wish I had used the matte version of this color too. I have to remind myself I can't use every color every time. All right, finally we have the Tarte Tartist Double Take Eyeliner. And this is a double-ended liner that has, I think it's just like a pencil and a liquid. So this goes for $24. I mean, not bad considering you get both ends. It says, get the perfect wing every time with this gel and liquid liner partners. This is a vegan dual-ended eyeliner that has waterproof liquid and gel formulas that will cause some serious double takes. It says it's full size, made just for charmers. I think I've seen these for sale before. Maybe I'm lying. Okay, so we're gonna give this guy a try. Ooh, 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 mmm. This is bleeding. Like the moment I touch it, it just goes like a, like a marker. I don't know about that. Let's try this gel. piece of it just popped off. All right, so I opted to switch my eyeliner to something different because, wow, um, the liquid liner, like it was super black and it wasn't like bleeding into every single like line of my skin, but it definitely like spread as soon as I put it. So I was like, okay, I'm not prepared. I wanna get a picture of this look. <laughs> So I needed my wing to work out. So I just went with my Hank and Henry Slick With It liner. And then you guys saw the other little gel end of it broke off. So yay. But I just added some liner and lashes, finished that off. So that is my look. This box was full of surprises. As far as the products go, just a quick overview. This seems nice. The smell is a little weird for me. I feel like the primer did okay. I'm not seeing anything under makeup that makes me think $60, but you guys let me know. Do you love this primer? Have you tried it? Um, I mean, it's a little bit glowy, but I'm wearing my Shiseido Radiant Foundation and I feel like it's not any more radiant than it usually is. So I don't really know if this is a winner, you know? My cellar water, we'll try it out. It's probably fine. I feel like this palette would have been a lot cuter had I just used a different base. But as you can see, it still turned out really cute. Like there's nothing wrong with it. And I usually love Huda eyeshadows, so I don't have any complaints there. The eyeliner, we know. The primer is just gonna be a little too sticky and too dry for me. There's just something about it. Like the texture is like, it's not quite a glitter glue, but it's not an eye primer. And I am in love with my P. Louise base. So I'm just gonna keep on using that. So definitely a hit and miss kind of box. It's around $230 value. I feel like I got my $35 worth, don't get me wrong, but uh, I wouldn't go out and purchase a lot of these. So yeah, kind of a meh month. But let me know what you think about the finished look and what you got in your box. Did you get any of these products and did you have similar or different experiences? Drop your comments down below. And I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.